Cześć friends! Welcome to the next episode of the Savory Bites and Tidbits podcast series. You can find out more about this and my other recipe podcast over at savorybitesandtidbits.com. Alongside this series, I'm also creating short one-minute videos of the recipes. These videos take you through the recipe step by step. Please check out my YouTube and TikTok. If you are enjoying my content, you can show your appreciation by buying me a coffee over at savorybitesandtidbits.com. Your contributions really make a difference and support me with the continued production of these podcasts. Today, we will be preparing a creme brulee with caramelized orange. Let's get started! The origin of the creme brulee is unknown, but three countries, France, England and Spain, claim to be the country it comes from. In France, for example, the recipe for creme brulee was first printed in the cookbook Le Cuisinier Royal et Bourgeois by chef François Messielot in 1691. In England, it was first served at Trinity College, Cambridge, in 1630. It was known there as Trinity Burn Creme, or creme brulee trinity. In Catalonia, Spain, the dessert was known in the 18th century as crema catalana and was prepared with cinnamon and orange or lemon peel. Creme brulee was not popular in French or English cookbooks in the 19th and 20th centuries. The dessert became popular in the 1980s probably thanks to Sirio Maccioni, who added it to the menu in his New York restaurant, Lucieric. Today, we will be preparing creme brulee similar in style to the Catalan version with orange peel. However, I came to the conclusion that there is no need to waste oranges, so I will also caramelize them and add them to the dessert. So, let's begin! To prepare four large ramekins of creme brulee, you will need 600 ml of double cream, one orange, one vanilla pot, six egg yolks, 100 g of caster sugar, eight teaspoons of light brown sugar and 500 ml of water. The amount of water depends on the size of the roasting pan. You will need the following accessories. A knife, a cutting board, a teaspoon, a tablespoon, a wooden spoon, a saucepan with a capacity of 1.5 liters, a frying pan, two large bowls, a measuring jug, four ramekins with capacity of 250 ml, a roasting pan or oven proof dish, a grater, a whisk, a sieve and a cooking torch. If all ingredients and accessories are ready, we can begin. First, we are going to prepare the double cream. Set your hub to a low heat and add the double cream into a saucepan and start heating. Grate the orange zest into the saucepan. On a chopping board, cut the vanilla pot in half lengthwise Scrape the seeds out of the pot using the knife blade and add the vanilla pot and seeds into the saucepan. Bring the double cream to the boil slowly on a low heat, stirring from time to time. Once it begins to boil, turn off the hub and set aside for about 15 minutes to cool slightly, but it does not have to be cold. Now we can prepare the caramelized orange. We are going to use the orange from which we remove the zest. Cut the remaining white zest from the orange, then cut it in half and remove the fibers from the center. 
Cut into one by one centimeter cubes and remove any seeds. Now set your hub to a medium heat and add two tablespoons of caster sugar to the frying pan. Gently caramelize the sugar while stirring with a wooden spoon. It is caramelized when it becomes a golden brown syrup. When the sugar is ready, add the chopped orange with the juice. Heat until the juice evaporates and the mixture takes on a thick consistency, stirring from time to time. This may take up to 10 minutes. When ready, put the caramelized orange aside. Finally, we need to prepare the egg yolk ready to make the creme brulee. Separate the egg whites from the yolks into two large bowls. We don't need to use egg whites in this recipe. In episode 9, I have an amazing Florentine recipe that makes use of spare egg whites. Add the remaining caster sugar into the bowl with egg yolks. Using a whisk, mix them together, but do not stir too much. We do not want to add air to the yolks. Now we are ready to combine all our ingredients together and make creme brulee. But before we start, you can preheat the oven to 150 C fan. Gradually add the cream to the bowl with egg yolks and stir constantly until they combine together. Take out the vanilla pot. Using a sieve, gradually pour the cream through into a separate large bowl. The orange peel and the vanilla seeds will remain in the sieve. Now pour the cream into a measuring jug again through the sieve. Pouring the cream into a measuring jug will make it easier to pour into the ramekins, and the use of the sieve will remove the remnants of orange peel and vanilla seeds more thoroughly. Add equal portion of the caramelized orange to the ramekins and pour the cream over them evenly. Put the ramekins into the roasting pan and fill the roasting pan with water up to about half the height of the ramekins. Put the roasting pan into the oven and bake for about 45 to 50 minutes. After baking, remove the ramekins from the roasting pan and let them cool down at room temperature for about 30 minutes. Then put them into the fridge for about two hours. Our creme brulee is nearly ready. Just before serving, sprinkle the top of the cream with brown sugar using about two teaspoons per one ramekin. Caramelize the sugar with a cooking torch, but do not keep the flame too close of the sugar and do not stay too long in one place. Try to caramelize the sugar evenly. If you don't have the cooking torch, you can caramelize the sugar with a grill. Our creme brulee is ready. Please crack the fresh warm caramelized sugar and dip into the cold cream with caramelized orange. Absolutely amazing! This recipe can be found on savorybitesandtidbits.com. I'm looking forward to hearing from you on how you got on with your creme brulee, so please leave a comment on Instagram. Oh, and sign up to my weekly newsletter to grab the collectible recipe cards and be up to date with culinary inspirations. Smacznego, friends!